All right, Star Fox 64. That's the game tonight. This game goes a long way back for me. I used to use it as therapy during middle school. Here we go. Let's see if this actually works. It's about time you showed up, Fox. I can't skip it the because I haven't beaten the level world. yet. I'll do my best. Andros won't have his way with me. Here we go. All right. Open the wing. Here we go. I like an F-14. You can see the flaps, control surfaces. It's kind of cool. Check your defuser system. Falco here. I'm fine. This is Peppy. All systems go. Here. I'm okay. All right, here we go. I see him up ahead. Let's rock and roll. It's a little cheesy. It's kind of fun though. Oh, yeah. It's been a while though. Let me get back here. Oops. Clippy, watch out! Both on your tail! Whoa! Thanks, yeah, Fox! Those are a little bit I thought they had faster me. than I remember. This emulator might be a little bit more jumpy. Alright, let's see. It's always lag here in 64. This is horrible. This is, this is fun! Probably not going to be very good. Everybody stay play. alert! Oh yeah, get right into it. Ooh! You got an enemy on your tail! Use the brake! Oops. Come on, get him. I guess we only get those guys. Oh, oh! Maneuvering here. I'll take this. Get the one behind you. Oops. Something's wrong with the G to you. Use the boost to take. I yep, guess I you're not going to be getting the high score on this one. <laughs> This is so much fun, though. Oh, man, this brings back my Coming home from school, playing a couple rounds of Star Fox. I could, I could play the whole game and beat it. And then I'd have to go do my homework. Man, not like that. But but I get a whole hour. It's an hour to beat the game. Ooh. I'm not as good as my past self. That's pretty smooth flying, Fox. <sighs> I have to adjust these controls. Woo! Follow me, <laughs> That's why they have a G diffuser, right? Keep those, Falco, keep those Gs going. down. They have something like that in Star Wars right, too. Up. They've got a oh, I forgot what they call it. And they have the Star Wars ships all have a have a G something like inertial compensator, inertial damper. They have those in Star Trek. Hey, Einstein, I'm on your... Gotcha! There we go. Sorry, I got a little cut off. Yeah, everybody has... All sci-fi movies have their own version of that G-Diffuser. Ah, uh, Here we go. Drop altitude. Incoming enemy from the rear. Drop altitude. Kind of got to love the music here. Enemy shield analyzed. Deploy all units! Charge! There we go! I've got a present for ya! Come on! Oh, I was on the wrong 
side. Aim for the open spot. That's it, spot! Oh, I got that thing uh, cool. These explosions are great. Well, what powers in these ships to make them explode like that? That's just so crazy. Alright, here we go. We're heading out. All aircraft report. You did it! I was worried for a moment. You're becoming more like your father. I'm fine. You okay over there, Fox? What did I get? Did I, I didn't get an award? I thought I would have gotten an award for that. Alright. I like the asteroid field better. Let's give this a shot. Impressive, Star Fox. Now watch out for enemies I in the asteroid field. I thought you could skip field. over these. I won't let you down, sir. Good luck. Why are you calling him sir? You're not. You're a mercenary. You're not in charge. In the game, they send this guy a bill. Here's the green fox. Pretty tough armor on that ship, though, to take an asteroid impact like that. Things are starting to heat up. Quit thinking around, Clip. We're heading into the asteroid. Wow, these people are brutal. There we go. I really Don't like this. Don't up that our way. It's quiet. Too quiet. Be careful, it's a trap! Use bomb quietly! This guy's gonna come back. Alright, there he is. Try a somersault! Those are always fun. Here comes a big one! I always like to do the opposite of what they recommend when we get the big asteroids. Ooh! Hit my wing. Actually, I don't think that was a wing. Here we go. Whoa! Can you make it? Use the brake! <laughs> there we go. Use the boost to get through. I'll just do the boost. In Location confirmed. Then you survive. I used to be able to get all those guys. Watch out, Fox! Gotcha. Oh, they're on me! I'm getting careless! I'm gonna try and get this guy. Get him! Thanks, Fox! Thanks, Fox. The aliens a little harder than it used to be. The enemy's coming from behind. Ouch. 
I guess it's your turn to be thankful. What are these ships? Here, you're gonna go in a ship that's gonna look just like an asteroid, and it's gonna spin when you shoot at it. Or a ship that looks like a butterfly. Slippy. You want a piece of me? Idea. Oh no. Did he get knocked out? Hold A to charge your laser. You can also lock on the enemy. There we go. Fight. We gotta go through the warp zone. Never give up. Trust your instincts. Come on. There we go. We got it. Warp Zone Z. This is super weird. Oh, it's fast. It's fast. Faster than I remember. Okay. Lots of targets. A target rich environment. You know, like spider ships? I mean, who would volunteer to fly a spider ship? It doesn't even make any sense. Bombs! Blow these guys up. Oh, this is so much fun. I am so bad at this game compared to what I used to be. Yeah, all these butterfly ships. It's an interesting idea, but I just don't think they're very effective just flying around like that. But they have limits. I don't think you get a lot of games like this anymore. Maybe on Android. Maybe mobile games are better. That's what I should do. I should do a video on mobile games. Now, then again, I'm not a huge fan of a lot of the mobile games. I make my own games. <laughs> but I'm not a fan of any of the ones that I've played. Except maybe 2048 or something. That's a pretty good game. I didn't need that bomb. Okay. I still got seven bombs, though. Accomplished, not just finished, accomplished. Oh, there we go. Not an award. So now I'm going to go to this planet. Yeah, I didn't want to face Star Wolf anyway. Here we go. Katina is battling the enemy. Will you help him out? This level is Affirmative, so Affirmative, cool. General. In the all range mode. It's gonna be the first time I've done it for a long time. Hang on, guys. Help is on the way. There's Bill. Such a generic name. So this. Fuck, you made it. Bill! Is that you? I can't believe it's it! Bill! We can catch up later, Fox. A little backstory, please. This level is a lot a like the movie Independence Day. And I think it's on purpose. Oh, that's one of ours! Oh, no. So, when I shot down the ships that are one of ours, oh, they have people ours. on them, right? Does that mean I just killed one of my own friends? Like... Or is that a robotic ship, or do they bail Man, out? Just no end to these guys. Oh, ouch! Try shooting the bad guys, Fox. Enemy mothership approaching. Get that golden ring. Where is it? Oh, whatever. Man, there's just no end to these guys. We'll wait till they have their mothership over the base. Then there's really no end to these guys. Oh, I wanted that. Oh, there's a ring. There's a ring. Here it comes. Bulldog unit. Don't let anything through. Yeah, they're all dogs. Isn't that interesting? So Star Fox is a fox, which is a canine. And then there's bulldogs, 
I don't know what Bill is. Bill might be an, another kind of dog. It's all different kinds of animals. Right? Slippy's a toad, and Peppy's a rabbit, or a hare, I guess. Alright, here we go. Just like Independence Day. Hello, boys. I'm back. Here they come! Yeah, this is tough because the, your guys want to crash into you, so you gotta like maintain a low altitude. Knock it off, Mark. <gasps> Come on! I won't let you get away from me. Knock it. The hatches are open. Come on, get these guys. One down. Oh man, there's so many. Too many units to get. Man, there's just no end to these guys. Don't lose a wing, don't lose a wing, don't lose a wing. Oh, wow. The hatches are open. I don't like that. I don't won't like let crowds. you get away from me. All units report. That's got to be a big report. They got a lot of units. I wonder where they come from. There's one down. Come on, get him. The hatches are open. I'm oh, blowing up. They give you more points. But when you blow them up too early, you don't get as many get away from units me. to fight. Well, I'm pretty overwhelmed as it is. <laughs> I don't need to fight anymore. Bulldog unit. Don't let oh, man. Remember... When I was a kid, I used to want to have my parents watch me play this whole game. Gosh, that would be boring to watch. You're not getting away that easy. Well, <laughs> present company All accepted, of course. I don't know. It's pretty cinematic if you're into watching games. I'm actually not that into watching games. I like to play them. I don't let other people watch me for that. All right, open the hatches. The hatches are open. Location confirmed. Pending survival. See where is that? It's time for a little payback. I won't let you get away from me. So many units. Everywhere you fire, there's somebody. The hatches are open! We're out so fast. Yeah, where's that box? I want my bomb. Bulldog you. Don't let anything through. There it is. The hatches are open! This is a dog fight. All units report! There's some sort of energy reaction. Ooh. The core has appeared. Stand by to Why stand by? Why not just attack? <laughs> Stargate SG-1 actually made fun of it. Or was it Stargate Atlantis? They're like, alright, prepare to attack. Hey, and the guy held again. his hand over the button and said, I am prepared. Oh no, that was Tilk. There's one now. It's like, Tilk, prepare to do this. And then Tilk says, I am prepared. Hurry up. If you don't take down the core in enough time, it does actually pull an independence day and blow up the base. I don't think you're going to see that. Oh! You did it! So it's a Yahweh now? There it is. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I'm learning a lot of this stuff about YouTube. And I think the reason why a lot of YouTubers wear headsets, I didn't realize this. It must be because if they're watching a video or something, that audio will show up on their mic if they have a, care, if they're not listening to it with uh, headphones. I should probably you try that next time. Hopefully the audio will be good on this one and everything will be good to go. We'll see. If not, at least I got a good practice run. Oh, emulator's a little sketchy. 
There is a sun. Oh man, I do not like that one. I like to change course to there. That's what I always used to do. But you have to be really good in this level. Reports indicate that Andros is working on some secret weapon. Yeah, it's a giant I'll robot. It well, robot in quotes. Classic. Let's take out that weapon, boys. All right, here we go. Let's have a little fun. I don't, I don't know if I like that attitude. There's some ethics problems there. These guys are probably just paid to watch where you're help. flying. You watch where you're flying, Peppy. What are you doing, hitting me like that? Come on, man. He's quick. Be careful. They must be robotic ships. Ooh, We're getting close to the base. So the base is wiped out. Oh, oh, ow, ow, ow. I'm gonna beat it here. It's all gone. So I guess my question is. Is this Andross's base that's destroyed? I guess it is, because he said somebody beat us here. Why are these guys still guarding it? If that robot went crazy and damaged everything, what's the deal with that? Some parts of this game, story-wise, don't make a lot of sense. They're on me! I'm getting careless! Now, I... Oh, yeah, so that's the arm for the robot. Oh, I should have got that. Dang it. I'll attack from the outside. I think it strengthens your wings. Interceptor system, dead ahead. Yeah, they're going to pop out those controls. But, again, why are they defending a base that just got attacked by its own creation? Trying to protect something that's that destructive? Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I like trying to launch those that a lot. It's always fun to, fun to do. Oh boy. Eat bomb. Where is the secret weapon? Oh, don't say it like Location that. Location confirmed. Sending supplies. Oh, we got another life. Hopefully, I won't need it. I'm going ahead. Back me up, Bob. Is that arm again? Oh, oh, ow, 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 ow. Okay, here we go. What's going on? Look at that! I've already got mission accomplished here. I think. Oh no, I've got the award. What the heck? Fuck! Look behind you. Like, that's possible. Although, they should have... Pull these things up. So this is the secret weapon. Destro this is so... Destroy. Destroy. Oh, what's the name for it? This is just... Ugh. I will terminate all enemies. Oh, now they're using Terminator terms. Let's see, how did we do this? You are an enemy. Yeah, launch your... You are an Got him. Yippee! You did I would not put my droid brain in the head. I'd put it in the body. Huh? If I was what? making a robot, I'm putting it inside that some armor. Is clear. What does that even mean? Destroy. This is the one where, pep, where Slippy will get hit if you don't blow it up fast enough. <laughs> that, there's, there's something from Star Trek right there. That's that's a line from Star Trek 1. Major wants to be complete or something like that. Anyway. 
we got like Terminator, V'ger. I think I saw something that looked like how. Yeah, you got pretty badly damaged. Gosh, you're getting better, Fox. Got some good lives. Peppy's pretty damaged, but we're moving on. Go. This is the train one, I so think. So you're going to attack the enemy base? Great idea, Fox. Great idea, Fox. It'll be a piece of cake, General. What? Four, four fighters against an entire enemy base. I'm surprised you don't use a great Fox more. That thing has some powerful weapons on it. There we go. The train level. Man. This thing's pretty cool. I bought the train. I'm taking it out. Here comes little hyenas now. So you got these trains, this train that you're following. Here they come! Why is it always Fox and having to bail out his buddies? I guess they do come in and help sometimes, but... Well, again, limits of the AI at the time, the computer NPCs or whatever you want to call them. Oh, bomb! I want a bomb! So, I think I was able to shoot this tanker truck. Come on, get him. Fine. There, that works. <laughs> Just do a somersault. I guess I should be thankful. Can I get up here? Yes. Oh, no, no, that was not good. Ouch. No, nope, no. Nope. Just that button sticky. Got these nifty N64 controllers. But when you buy an Nintendo 64 controller from online, from Amazon, a lot of times they're just not as high of quality as the ones that you get from that you originally got with the Super Nintendo. I feel like those controllers were really good. They just really the Super Nintendo and the SNES are just really well-built systems compared to what you get now. Think about this. Your computer requires a cooling system in it. But the SNES and the Nintendo 64, they get warm, but they never got, they never needed a cooler. I always thought that was interesting. You really know what you I need a fuel bunker on the right side. Yes. Change the switch track. Shoot the eight switches to open the lock. Let's see if we can do this. It's been a while, but I think I got a good chance. Location confirmed. Then there's a lot to explore. I didn't expect half of you live. You're very lucky. Okay, 
Okay, here we go. Whew, that was intense. <laughs> you can tell when the game's getting intense while I'm not talking as much. A lot of focus in the game. I don't know how YouTubers are able to do that. It's, again, such cheesy dialogue, but it's kind of a cool scene. Those explosions. Oh man, we gotta love it. All aircraft report. I can see the look on their stupid faces. I'm sure we heard them this time. Now it's our turn to kick some tail. Kick some tail, there we go. Ending out that language, huh? I, I, I used to get scores that were so tight on this. I don't remember what it was, like 1700 or something by the end of the game? Crazy time. And there's a great fox. It's a pretty cool ship, actually. I really like the idea of that. Yeah, that's supposed to be a medal. I guess the emulator isn't very good at that part. Or maybe I didn't get a medal. Alright. Let's go. Let's do this. This is a fun level. It's almost over. We're in your debt. Come back in one piece, Fox. You don't care about that. Will do, General. You just want your enemy Andros defeated. Came in here. No problem. Do you copy? Emergency maneuvers! Oh man, now we're gonna have to tell Kim his wife and Game children over about that. See, these are just people doing a job. I don't know. At least that's what I think. Entering Venom Air Defense Maybe Zone. Maybe they're bad guys. I don't know. Everybody, stay alert. They find the head. Oh yeah. Fast up. Get, get him, come on. Is there like some kind of defense platform? It's all those guns on it. Get him. The fountain is kind of hot heavy. Huh? I guess each character represents a different aspect of the game. Of of a, of a good team, you know. We've got Falco, who's kind of a hothead, hot shot pilot. Great Fox will cover you. Fox is the leader. Oh. Slippy is our a technical guy. Right, the Slippy, I think. I think Slippy invented the, um, the Landmaster, the tank thing. Did we get him? Not yet, sir. Not yet, and sir. Slippy also invented that submarine. That really weird level. Talent. What's taking you so long, Fox? Going too fast, man. <laughs> ah, the oh wow, wow, check that out. There's there he is, there's Andros. You think you're getting help, but Andros hijacked your frequency. You are not going to win this one. There you go. They've broken through the first line. First line of defense. Now they have more of those battleships. I'm just shocked at how much damage this four fighters are able to do. We're gonna break through that fleet. 
There we go. Fire! Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Where was the great fox earlier? Venom right there! The butterfly. Hey, what's the big idea? I'm uh -oh. looking for the bottom ring. Looks like I'm gonna have a little bit more trouble with Star Wars in the next one. The last line has been free! This thing, oh, this thing is so weird. Man, it's a good thing that Andros didn't make more of these, huh? We were so close to them. Here we go. Oh, I'm slow. Hey. I don't think that wing is going to take any more hits. Hope I don't have to go face. I hope I don't have to go face the main bad guy with one wing. Well, I mean, it won't be one wing, but it won't be the double blasters that I need. I don't even know what you call them. Double blasters? Here we go. Yeah! Oh, it's, it's working! It's working! What's working? Slippy wasn't here to help me. Use the tentacles to open the door. Get him! Yeah, I'm better at this than I thought I was. It's a lot of missiles. <laughs> Man, I wonder when this thing will run out. Well, it's a pretty big ship. It probably has a lot of them, but still. Here we go. Destroy all free energy balls. I don't understand the logic behind these energy balls, but whatever. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, that hurt. Those. Ah, oh, yeah, this is tense. Uh oh. Watch out, Fox. Watch out, Fox. Can I like go down here? Stay out of range of that terrible beam. Ooh, that thing is really bad. Rainbow beam, but <laughs> it really hurts when he hits you. Come on. Here's the dog. Here's the Shoot the core! Come on! We can do this! Got it! There we go. Interesting, their engines are blue in space, but I think they were red in the atmosphere of the planet. Huh. I wonder if they use different engines depending on whether they're in space or atmosphere. That would make sense. Hold on, we're entering Venom airspace. Yeah, with no slippy. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be interesting. Say your prayers, Andros. Final battle. Don't Star get too cocky, Star Fox. Let's see how you handle our new ships. Yeah, I think I got it. Maybe. Too bad Dad's not here to see you fail. We'll make sure you never regain drugs. 
We'll just see about that, Star Wolf. Yeah, we'll see about that. You guys don't give up. Got one. You can't beat me. I gotta beat you. Your father helped me like that too. You're not welcome here. You're not welcome here. Neither are you. I won't let you get away from me. This can't be happening. Oh, we can. Come and get me. Shoot! He's right behind me. Oh, where is he? You're not welcome here. Come on, Falco. The tricky thing is I don't know if I remember how to get to Andros. Give it up. Ah! <laughs> that scream. I think oh got new no. Ship. There's one more to go. Three against one now. Not yet. The party's just begun. Yeah. Where are you? Oh, I got radar. I gotta use my radar. It's been a while. I'm playing Star Wars Squadrons. I don't think these are... Oh, Ooh, here we go. Oh man! I'll go it alone from here. Here we go. Fox! He yells, Fox! Some of the dialogue in this game. All right. When I was a kid, I actually drew a whole map of this entire thing. I've been waiting for you. Oh, I can't Fox. remember though how it goes. I think it goes left. You know that I control the galaxy. Yeah, no, we don't. The left again. It's foolish to come against no, I meant me. Right, the first one. Left, the second. All right. Now you what is that? Another life. Face Andros. His flying head. How did he get himself into this state? His eyes. Ouch. That <laughs> used to be so much better than this. His eyes. Can get it from here? Ooh, he's tough. Okay. Hope I don't get defeated. There we go. Now all he's all that's left is a brain and two Only eyes. I have the brain this is really messed life. up. <laughs> So weird. So, and thought Earthworm Jim was a weird game. Oh no. Alright, send your eyes after me. I'll dogfight your eyes. So weird. Come on. Can you get me? One! Those awful beams. Just have to. Oh! Alright, now I've got to fight a friend. Oh. He's on me. That was close. You, you see, you can't get into his little string things that he's got when you're down there. He's right on top.
Oh no! Yep, there it is. Might be destroyed. doing so good. I wonder if where you start out. I wonder if I... Oh no. Come on. Uh oh, I went to the edge of the map. He's on me. That's well, there goes that. Not bad though, first time I died. But I think now I'm gonna get the. Um, waiting for you, Star well, let's see. let's see what happens. I think now I go right to the brain. You know that I try to get some galaxy. weapons on my way. Man, I can't believe I lost it's all those bombs. That's terrible. Me. Now I don't know where I'm going. Now I have to go right. Let's go right. There it is. Alright, what do we got? Really? I have to do it all over again? Oh no. Okay, well. Here we go. Fight in the brain again. Let's see if I can do it this time. Only I have okay. brains to rule my Andros. So, Andros, you show your true form. Your true form. Where does he? How does he eat? He's only a brain. What if we should do? I like that shit that there's a YouTube video called, or there's a YouTube channel called Cinema Sims. I wonder if they could do a game version of that. Game Sims. How can what Andros is possibly be the best form, you know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't seem like this would be that much fun. You know what? I think I remember. I think if I do a U turn. Uh oh, uh oh. Nope, that was a bad idea. Ugh. This guy is so tough. Where is it? Come on, turn! Right in the Oh no, I missed. Okay, come on. Oh, we can do this. Just follow me around. Uh oh. <laughs> Wow, how did I do this? There he is. So does he always break off a wing? Yeah, he always does. 
You have almost got him, though. Okay, let's try this. Come on. Let's go to the edge of the map again. Can't get me when I do that. Get this guy. You have to send a boost away from me. That's over. Oh, nope. Of course. Oh, we're getting there. Slowly. I've been waiting for you, Star Fox. If I could just maintain the Twin Blasters. You know that I control the galaxy. Maybe I could get my it's Photon Blasters to come against call me. Back. Now you will feel through. Not really. If you load up in a Starfighter like this, I won't feel anything. All right, here we go. Let's do this. How does living as a giant face help? <laughs> you got something stuck in your eye, don't you? Come on, get him! So Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, back to the brain. Come on, this is it. This is the way. Only I have the brain. Yes. Oh, lilac. So, Andros, you show your true form. A brain with eyes. That's your true form. Again, I think a physical body is better. That's just me. But what I should do is I should try to attack the brain. Right now. Before it's like chasing. Let's see what that Let's see what he does. Nope, it doesn't work. Uh oh, shouldn't have done that. Dog fight with an eyeball. Brains didn't get too close to it. Yeah. I think I need to shoot the eye first. Never. It's just such a weird phrase. You know, I think I need to shoot the eye first. Come on. There you are. Got it. Let's see. So I do this.
That's right. I would do you twice. As soon as he comes out behind me, you do U-turn. I think I remember that stretch. Where are you? I'm getting a little too close to the edge of the map. So he's got to come. He got me, man. Dang it. Oh, but I didn't lose a wing. Come on, recharge. Loop over him? Maybe? Yep, there we go. Got him! <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, the fake death. You gotta love this. Don't ever give up, my son. Man, where is this from? Father? His father's a ghost. He's gonna come out and help him. His father's cool, too. Follow me, Father. That reminds me of that one fire movie. Okay, come on. So you gotta use the boost to keep up. This is this relatively way, difficult. Oh, no, of course. Oh! Is it this way? <laughs> what was this way? Not doing so good. Never give up. Trust your instincts. Okay, okay. Oh, one hit, and it's over. Okay, good. It starts back here. Oh, I was afraid I'd have to face that brain again. I was in pretty rough shape to start. Okay, I should be able to do this. Hopefully. This way, Fox. Which way? Which way? See, sometimes he like pre-turns and it confuses you. It's like he's a big white semi in this world. Which way? Which way? Which way? There he goes. Never you go the wrong right. way, it's over. Oh. Slippy I have to fix this far way. Okay, whoo! That was intense. You've become so strong, Fox. Here we go! There's a great fox sitting in low orbit. They must have something like the posers. Yeah, there's Slippy's part. Skipped. That's our leader. What's wrong, Bob? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. Yeah, Slippy's okay. Yeah, 1372. Uh, I'll, I'll get a, I'll get a new record on this version, but I think my my Star Fox cartridge has. 1750 or something. Shigeru Miyamoto, genius game developer. Yeah, this game, man, it brings back some memories. Yeah, I remember I had it timed down to about an hour. 
So I could go and I could beat this game in an hour. And, uh, and I would do that kind of like a po after high school routine. Or was it, I don't even think it was high school, I think it was middle school. I would do that. And so uh, it was just kind of a routine that I did. And I got better and better at the game and, until I started to get really competitive with my own scores. And I, I generally like Star Fox. I think the problem that a lot of space games make, and I think Star Fox does too, but there's no correct orientation in space, right? And so you're flying quote-unquote level, but there isn't really any such thing as level in space. And Star Wars gets this wrong, Star Trek gets this wrong, and well... There might be a few Star Wars and Star Trek episodes where they, they kind of fix it. And it used to really bother me. And so finally I made a game called... Oh, what was it? I think it was the... I think the first one I did was Platforms 3D. I never released it. And it was just like a bunch of different factions from different universes that would, that were together. And, and you'd have a Starfighter. Basically Starfighter combat. Anyway, and then later I did one called, oh man, what was that? Hostile Takeover, that really used that, that strategy. And then later on, um, S Star Wars, the new Star Wars came out with Star Wars Squadrons, which I've played, and it is a fantastic game. It is amazing, and it actually does that. There is no correct orientation in that game. Here we go, the uh, ceremony. Now this looks just like Star Wars. All the way down to the helmets and the red carpet and everything. Anyway. And they got some ideas from Star Wars. Star Fox, we are in your debt. I would be honored to have you as part of the Cornarian Oh no, sir. We prefer doing things our own way. Yeah, they're mercenaries. Great Fox is ready to go. Must have got repairs. It's or something. time for us to go now. Here we go. The running. <laughs> They're fast. When you beat the game, I think you have to get an award on each level. You can do multiplayer, and you can be the little guys. I don't know if you can do that unless you beat the whole game. But anyway, maybe you can. But you. But these little guys, they've got a cannon, they can roam around and shoot things, and, and they're kind of cool. They did make the gameplay in multiplayer mode pretty interesting, but... Multiplayer mode eventually gets to the point where you're just doing loops around each other. Just trying constantly, well, you call them somersaults, but you're doing these somersaults or loops, and you're just constantly doing them to try to get the other guy, and, and if, once you get to that skill level, there's almost no point in playing multiplayer. But multiplayer is a lot of fun to play against people that don't know how to do that. Because right when they're on your tail, you pull that on them, and then <laughs> they don't know what happened. So, it's a great fox. Yeah, this is a good game. I haven't played any of the other newer ones. I actually have... I get motion sickness from from certain types of games, and Star Fox isn't one of them, but but a lot of really mod- anything that's newer than probably GameCube, like GameCube and newer, it, the graphics and everything really mess up my brain and make me get sick, so. Alright, let's see, I wanted to get to this last part. I'm gonna beat the game, let's beat the whole game, and check out the ending. There you go, off into the sunset. Literally off into the sunset. Wow. 1997! Yeah, this game is really old. That's <laughs> really old. Oh boy. Well, that's good times though. I got a rank, yay! At least on my emulator I did. Let's see what we got going on here. Come on. Oh. 
Okay, fine. So we... Oh, there's J. I'll do. I'll do it. There we go. JLC. What? What? <laughs> That's how much it cost. $87,000 for Star Fox. So he builds the Cranarian army. This is a great, a great little Easter egg in this game. They're... Immerse, yeah, they're a mercenary unit. See, it says it right there. Anyway, he, he stamped it. All right. Well, it's been fun.